Pizarro lived throughout his life in almost abject poverty. It wasn't really until the end of his life, when he was in his 60s, that finally his huge production as an artist began to sell, and he began to live in some degree of comfort. In the early 1880s, the family lived in a succession of rented houses and lived, of course, a life without servants because they had no money to pay servants. And so you think when you look at this picture of a little country maid that we're in a kind of prosperous bourgeois household, but we're not at all because the little country maid was Pizarro's niece. Life was tough, and so she was into the household working for free, her nephew sitting at the table munching away on something. All the decorations in the room were made by the artist. Every work of art was made by the artist. And what one sees is a kind of successful, independent life, which was a life that was lived essentially with very little money. And it was the idea that this life could be pleasant and fulfilling and interesting and beautiful that this picture was about. And it's also about something else. It's about the history of art, because the one French artist whom Pizarro admired more than any other was Chardin. And Chardin painted kitchen maids and parlor maids. And the idea of the people who work being the important people, rather than the people who order the people to work, is very important to Pizarro, and that's what this picture is about. And it links him to one of the greatest artists in the history of French art.